On this single phase motor, you're able to change the direction of rotation. If you notice here, the rotation says clockwise OPE. The OPE stands for opposite pulley end. So to reverse either voltage, interchange red and black leads. So for looking at the motor itself, this is the pulley end or shaft end and this one here is opposite pulley end. So here's our wiring diagram for our clockwise opposite pulley end and you can see that yellow black P1 is hooked up to line 1, blue T1, gray T6 are together, red T8, brown P2, and orange T3 are together, and black T5, white T2, yellow T4 are hooked up to line 2. And to reverse it, we just change the red and black leads, so that's red T8 and black T5. So this is the opposite pulley end and of course the far end would be our shaft end or where the pulley goes. So you can see with the lead configuration it is wired up for a clockwise direction on the opposite pulley end. Okay, we'll get a look and We'll see if it does go clockwise. Okay, it should be easier to see when the motor is coming to a stop. And we can see indeed it does go clockwise direction when you're looking from the opposite pulley end. And of course, uh, should be noted if you were looking from the shaft end, uh, it would end up going uh, counterclockwise if your eyes were over here. All right, to reverse the rotation, we're just going to uh, switch the red and black leads. Take the black lead off, and the red lead off, and put the black lead there. Red on. Okay. So I'll change views so we can actually see. Uh, in this case, uh, it's going to go counterclockwise now, looking from the pulley end. So instead of going this way around, we're going to go that way around. Okay, I'll start the motor. And stop the motor. And you can see it is now going in a counterclockwise motion. Again, looking from opposite pulley end. If we were looking from the shaft end or pulley end, it would end up going clockwise direction. So it's very important to make sure the direction and what end you're looking at.